Hi there. Welcome to Banana World presently. My brain, I've been living in Cleveland my entire life. I've been living with my mother. It's been me and my mother. That's all there is to it. That is what's up with this age group today, these little fellows. What does she offer that might be of some value? What else does she want to slide up to the table with? And your work. What befell men who should be mindful? Things that ought to commonly depict what your identity is. Those things don't show themselves when the cameras aren't rolling. Right, fine people. Snatch your popcorn and put on your tattle goggles since we're taking a plunge into the tornado sentiment of, in all honesty, Yon Yavi and his driving woman, Marjorie Harvey. Purportedly, the show in this exceptionally well-known family has spilled over to the youngsters, with Harvey's children presently faulting their dad for allowing Marjorie to destroy the once blissful family. Picture this, a satire club in 1990. Memphis, Tennessee, Steve Harvey, the maestro of merrymaking, and Marjorie Harvey, a lady with a pizzazz for style, ran into each other like boats in the evening. They shared a laugh and an association. However, the timing wasn't ideal for their adoration to blossom. Destiny, it appears, had a superior thought. Quick forward to 2005. After a few life examples and a touch of soul-searching, the fates lined up. Harvey, presently a true blue moderator, was single once more and prepared to make the most of every opportunity. His dependable protector, the unrecognized Cupid of their affection story, proposed reviving the flares with Marjorie. Also, as you may definitely be aware, love struck twice. Be that as it may, exactly who is Marjorie? What's more, how do Harvey's different kids feel about her? She's a fashionista, a savage mother bear, and a lady who knows her own value. She's an expert at mixing families, which is basically what we thought from the beginning. We're talking seven youngsters from previous existences that she invited into her heart like a genuine boss. Unexpectedly, these very kids are currently pointing the finger at her from afar. Steve Harvey seems like a genuine family man. Family is my motivation. He once spoke about parenthood. I attempted to leave a legacy and ideally make the world a superior place for them. The comic originally became a father in 1982, when he and his then-spouse, Marsha Harvey, invited twin young ladies Licker and Carly. The couple likewise had a child, Broderick Harvey Jr. Mm. In 1991, preceding their separation in 1994, the moderator invited another child, Winton, in 1997, with his subsequent spouse, Mary Shackelford whom he was hitched to from 1996 to 2005. After two years, Harvey married Marjorie and took on her three kids from a past relationship, girls Maga, Ann Laurie, and child Jason. While you're managing a mixed family, everybody is coming from a position of brokenness, Marjorie told individuals in 2016, before making sense of how she and her significant other needed to ensure each of their kids felt included and cherished. We realized this was correct, she said, adding now we're mother and father to everyone. In any case, apparently feelings aren't shared, particularly among Harvey's blood kids with his two exes. As referenced before, Harvey and his most memorable spouse, Marsha, invited twin young ladies, Carly and Cognick, in August 1982. At that point, the top comic was a protection sales rep. Yet, subsequent to attempting stand-up parody and winning $1. 50 in front of the rest of the competition prize, he chose to leave his place of employment to seek a day-to-day -day existence in satire. Talking about that groundbreaking choice, he reviewed him hitched. I have twins. I should accommodate them. However, I needed to take this risk. While he made progress in media outlets, it came at a cost to his home life. He and Marcia separated in 1994, 
and his relationship with Cognac and Carly was stressed. Years after the fact, they shared with me, Father, we failed to really see the reason why you left us. However, we now know you needed to go. You didn't simply have a place with us. You had a place in the world, Harvey shared, adding, that was close to home for me. In 2015, Carly married Ben Raymond, and her dad strolled her down the walkway. Preceding the wedding, Carly and Benjamin showed up on Steve's syndicated program, where the entertainer sorrowfully let it be known that it was challenging to part with your little girl. Prior to going to Benjamin to add, you need to deal with her since. Supposing that you don't, I will think about that literally. The next June, Carly and Benjamin had their most memorable child, a child named Benjamin Troy Raymond. In subsequent years, they brightened the nursery with an exceptional token from their wedding, a gift tree loaded up with messages from loved ones. I needed to consolidate the gift tree, so he generally has the support Carly uncovered in 2016. They likewise draped up one of Harvey's number one Albert Einstein statements, and afterward, he ensured that the child had a duplicate of his book behave like a triumph. Carly shared, Her twin sister, Brandy, is a creator, digital recording host, and wellness powerhouse who recently prepared as a jock in any event, putting second in the NPC contest. She's likewise the pioneer behind past her, a well-being and way of life brand zeroed in on assisting ladies with arriving at their well-being objectives. Also, Brandy is the chief overseer of her dad's establishment, the Steve and Marjorie Harvey establishment. After the most recent adventure, it is accepted that the twin young ladies are incensed over Marjorie's treatment of their father. Yet, pause, there is something else. Steve Harvey invited their child, Broderick Harvey Jr to Marcia in April 1991. In Cleveland, purportedly, Broderick is seething with his father for marrying Marjorie and allowing her to additionally destroy their loved ones. Following Harvey and Marcia's 1994 separation, Broderick remained in Ohio with his sisters and mom, showing up on his dad's syndicated program, Steve, in May 2019. Broderick drilled down into their relationship sharing, I didn't actually have my father full-time in my life until I was 16. Accordingly, the humorist talked about his own lament, said, I had gone through my whole time on earth, attempting to compensate for the slip-ups I made as a young fellow. In 2015, Broderick began a shoe organization called Steps by Stevens which assisted in the battle against craving by giving three dinners to a kid who was hungry for each pair sold. The organization has been included on Harvey's syndicated program. The moderator presented Broderick and his colleagues, saying, The main thing that I've attempted to show my children is the worth of difficult work and rewarding others prior to adding. That is the reason I was unable to be prouder of my most experienced child. Yet, the central issue is, is your child glad for you? Actually, no, not in any way, shape, or form. Roderick isn't the only one to fault his popular father. The jokester's 26-year-old child, his natural last kid, is supposed to be frantic to the bones. Winton Bryceland, Ali Harvey, was brought into the world on July 18, 1997, by Steve Harvey, and his subsequent spouse, Mary Shackelford. The couple separated in 2005, after nine years of marriage. In 2016, Harvey focused on the separation, saying, I got hitched for some unacceptable reasons. I was burned out from being separated from everyone else. I have to claim that. It was me, not her. There's no conclusion for me starting today. There was never any conclusion whatsoever. Since their split, Mary has made various claims against her ex. In 2011, she guaranteed on YouTube that Harvey undermined her and took their child after their separation. The jokester answered the allegations. 
expressing that he was granted essential guardianship when Winton was 13 years of age and their child went to live with him readily. Today, Winton is a photographic artist based in Atlanta. Since Marjorie's wedding, Harvey's youngsters from before haven't completely invited her, despite the fact that they vowed to oblige her. The youngsters accept that Marjorie charmed their father from the moment they met. Harvey realized Marjorie was the lady he was intended to wed. Marjorie altered the manner in which I existed, which he uncovered in 2012. I'd never been in a solid adult relationship. I'd never been steadfast. I'd never been completely respected. Marjorie concurred, saying, We're our dearest companions. It's the first time both of us have had somebody we can converse with about everything. Throughout their long-term relationship, the couple has shared a lot of sweet moments via virtual entertainment, become grandparents, and, in particular, had each other's backs. In any case, presently, it seems the children haven't been important for that fantasy. In spite of the fact that Marjorie and Harvey didn't get married until 2007, the pair met a long time earlier when the jokester was performing at a club in Memphis, Tennessee. They examined their most memorable gathering during a 2018 episode of Steve's syndicated program, The Steve Harvey Show. Very much like his youngsters, a huge number of Harvey's fans accept that he is a brown nose, a metropolitan term used to depict a man who allows a lady to control him. With respect to how they keep their marriage solid, Harvey shared a portion of two or three insider facts. I wed an individual who was at that point blissful, and I'm naturally cheerful, so we don't need to make each other cheerful. We can simply complete one another's joy, he told Great Housekeeping. I don't raise exes. I don't recall them or have any affectionate recollections. I knew nothing until my better half went along. Alongside having supper together and tuning in, he likewise shared one sweet propensity. At the point when Marjorie sees me accomplishing something I loathe, she'll kiss my large, bare head and express, hold tight, I'm glad for you. It gets me without fail. Be that as it may, things haven't been so blushing between the two sweethearts recently. The 66-year-old has been moving this past week following claims that his better half had supposedly gone behind his back with their protector, an individual gourmet expert, and surprisingly, requested a $200 million separation settlement to address the talk. Harvey talked on Sunday, August 27, while going to the Contribute Best Commercial Center 2023 occasion, excusing the charges as tattle. Before I begin, just let me say, I'm fine. Marjorie is fine. I don't have the foggiest idea what you are all doing. However, find another thing to do in light of the fact that we are fine. Ruler, show kindness, man. I ain't got no time for reports and tattle. God's taking care of me. I'm actually sparkling. Harvey said the duping charges initially began via web-based entertainment stage X, previously known as Twitter, and immediately circulated around the web. Also. Marjorie tossed her social, 